welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have two big old Dollar Tree hauls for you. Today, I'm gonna video today. They will be put up separate. I'm not changing clothes. Mm -mm. I even got a venti iced coffee for this one. We're gonna get started because there's a lot of stuff here. First and foremost, I just thought this was adorable. Do I need this in my life? No. Just a little drink cup. Now they had the same one at Target in the Wicked collection. It's very similar to these, but just a little cup. I thought it was fun, a little decoration. Um, I scored one of these vintage Christmas trees. I think I'm gonna take it to my office. Uh, maybe, we'll see, I love it. I don't have any batteries in it to light it up for you, but I, go, I went with the traditional. They had it in green and I think they had it in white. Maybe pink, not sure, but I love it. I have one very similar that my grandma made, but it's flat, not round. But I got that one. And I know I have another one in my decorating. Okay, um, I picked up this bag for general bringing presents places. I like to have a bag that I can wrap things and toss them in here when I need to leave the house and not forget them. And this one seemed kind of festive. And it is like the sturdy bag. More of a tote than a gift bag. But I'll use that all season. Guys, I've got so much stuff in here. I bought so much stuff. Okay, a lot of it's like Christmas gifty too. I picked up a few of these big bones. Um, this is Edible Dog Chew Healthy Rawhide Alternative. So everything I buy is rawhide free. Um, I've got a couple big dogs in the family. So I got three big dogs. These are for Christmas. Stockings for the pet. So I got three big dogs. And then we have one little Luna. And she, I found these, she loves these little bully sticks. So I just grabbed a couple packs to throw in with some, um, her presents. And I keep some here when I watch her. I like to have treats on hand for her and she enjoys it immensely. Um, I found these, I think I showed the Santa or I will be showing you the Santa. Um, this is the snowman. You just make a wreath with it. But quite frankly, I just wanted the wooden arms for my pumpkin that I'm going to turn into a Santa, to a snowman. The stacking pumpkins, and I thought these arms are perfect for that. And then I can use the head for something else. Let's just make a Franken snowman. Should we do our thumbnail early? With all my cats in the background. I'm on the hunt for the snowman pillow. The black cat, this one will stay out year round. He may replace that one. Okay, um, these were fun. They came in a box together. And they're just little frames. I mean, they're very lightweight, they're plastic, but I love them. And I saw somebody who f put felt back here and then you can hang earrings and stuff. But I thought these were super fun. Four cross stitching finishes. Or whatever. Alex, Alex, sweetie, we don't scratch the screen. I have the front window open for him and he's being bad. Alex, hey, no, no. And he's scratching at the screen because Wellington is outside. All right. Oh, I found some of this and I believe this is the Dollar Tree version of CLR which is for hard water mineral stuff. And I have a ton of that around this house and I have a big bottle of CLR, but I wanted to try this because um, yeah, removes tough stains and build up lime and calcium remover. And this is something new. I wonder what it smells like. Just out of curiosity. Citrus, it smells good actually. I don't care for the CLR smell, but this is a, uh, oh, duh, it says right there, lemongrass. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to try it. I've got bathrooms to clean. Um, and this is in no particular order, guys, because I'm just a disaster. <gasps> Ooh, so I found these, right? What are they, you say? Well, they're $8 on Amazon, but these are the ball brand. They're a, I checked it out to make sure it fit. It is a top 
for not wide mouth. These are standard mouth. Um, regular mouth. These are the regular mouth size. But they're airtight. And they're just a decorative lid. So if you're storing something like rice or grains or whatever, cream or sugar, sweetener. This is a Dollar Tree jar as well. What I think I'm doing, my neighbor and I are going to dry some fruit and I'm going to make some simmer pots and gift them. And then this is also a measuring jar. So I thought that was fun. I grabbed three packages of these. And I honestly just saw some the other day. So I know they're out there. Um, I wish it would have been great if they were wide mouth, but they're not. So I have three, which means I have 15 gifts I can make. And I'm actually, I may have to buy some more jars or find some more jars. But we're going to leave that downstairs. Okay. Ugh. Oh, this. Now, here's something fun. A dollar twenty-five, right? You lay it, it's a spoon rest but it holds multiple spoons and messy spoons and then this can go in the dishwasher i just saw this at hobby lobby as well and it was not a dollar 25 but i grabbed it because when you're this is soup season and these are nice to have on your stove i have a glass top so it just keeps everything tidy i think you go this way and the mess stays up in here and then you run it through the dishwasher that would also be a good gift basket idea um, I picked up a couple of these. I'm not sure what for yet, but I thought they were cute. They are a new pattern this year. The gnomes. And then this one is the trucks. I mean, they're all in the same theme, I think, but just a little bit different. Also, if I wanted to give somebody giant simmer pots, this would be good. Obviously cookies, you know, but, um, coffee station, hot chocolate, K cups. It's endless. And they're just festive. Like they just bring the whole festivities right there and done. Um, I thought these were fun size little gift boxes. I'm always looking for different shapes to wrap smaller things because as children, nieces, nephews, kids, grandkids get older, don't their things get more expensive and smaller? But so I just grabbed these. I don't need a bunch of gift boxes, but it's a little five pack. Thought it was perfect. Oh, I need to hold it off on that. Um, I just grabbed these because they're fun. I love these socks. They don't last forever, but when I'm sitting in my office working and my feet get cold, I love putting lotion on and then throwing these socks on my feet. And they're so soft and squishy. So I grabbed those for that purpose alone. I have, you'll see I have more. More. What's in here? It's like Christmas around. Oh, glitter bomb. I grabbed some of these for decorating. I like the color. Um, I need to spray them with some clear so they stay in their own little bag. I have literally glitter everywhere. I can't show you because some people watch my shows, but I'm making a special surprise for a group of friends that were doing something. How's that for Vogue? Vague, vague. Um, but I have... Um, I have glitter everywhere. That's what it's like around my house at Christmas. Um, all right, let's see here. Oh, I get these every year because I love putting these on packages and stuff. They're just little bows, but they're so easy and they just bring some festiveness to anything I'm creating. Um, I got these for my kitchen. I'm gonna do my kitchen. I think I've done it in gingerbread last year and the year before, but I'm bringing in more pink. And these may hang in there. They're just adorable. They're gift tags, but, and they're metal. Like it's a metal cookie sheet with gingerbread people. Super cute. Also, if you have a little person that's like Barbie, this is Barbie size guys, give it to them and tell them it's, well, make sure it's not sharp, but cause I didn't, I haven't touched them, but they can make Barbie cookies or doll baby cookies. Um, so those will go with my kitchen decorating. I grabbed these for gift baskets. I'm doing a couple, um, well, actually one's for me and one's for a gift basket. I got the vanilla bean. I'm doing a pam self pamper kit and I thought these were so festive and fun. And I love these hand moisturizers. This one's candy apple and this one is vanilla bean. I figure I'll keep the 
candy apple, I'll gift the, van the vanilla bean. I figured it's not as um, potentially offensive of a scent. Some people, you know, are sensitive to that, but you just put it on. I also will find the foot masks that go with that at some point, I hope. Uh, some stocking stuffers. Like what? I found this in the party section and I said, um, I absolutely have to have these. It's just a little unicorn rubber ducky. I thought that would be fun. Little desk gift stocking stuffer situation. Um, I do have some office gifts coming up. These are just little felt snowflakes for decorating packages and things. I love like putting effort into the packaging as well as the gift. So I thought these were fun. Just little snowflakes. You can also just hang these from anywhere. It just felt, they are sticker back as well, which is nice. Um, what's in here? Oh, that's not it. Oh, I found, I got a couple of these. The hot chocolates. This is the Tootsie Roll hot chocolate and then the Junior Mint. This will go into the Pamper Yourself gift because the person I'm giving this to really likes Junior Mints. And I believe she likes hot chocolate. And I know they have a K-cup, a Keurig. So these are just little stocking add-on things to put in baskets and whatnot. Um, you know, when you're gifting to people. I think I got two more. And also, I will bring them into my office and put them next to the coffee station where I have all my coffee. But some people don't like coffee, so I'll have some hot chocolate available. Yes, I did. I got three hot, I got three chocolate. And then just two of the peppermint, of the junior mint, because a lot of people don't like mint, but. And this is a three pack. But they're cute. Also, I only grabbed two of these this year. I get them every year, but you now have the start of a gift. Put some Tootsie Rolls in here, some Tootsie Pops, a gift card, and you have yourself a fun little gift right there, office gift. If you have to give somebody something. I only bought two of these. I will tell you, I saw my first shelf shelf clear the other day. I was at a random Dollar Tree and um, this lady was perusing these mugs and I, I didn't need any. Oh my God. Oh my God, you should see me. So this is a glitter bomb. We'll just show you this first because it's going in the glitter bag. Oh my goodness. These are just some bells that I'm gonna hang outside on my front porch garland. OMG. Guys, I literally have gold glitter all over me and this is why I'm not changing clothes to do the video. Anywho, so there was probably 20 of, I, I didn't need any at the time because I had already purchased these, but there was probably 20 of the snowman mugs on the shelf and she picked through each and every one and took all but three that were chipped. Like really? I don't understand that, but whatever. Um, I got some of these plain buckets. I was thinking I could do something cricket wise with them maybe. I don't know. We'll see. They're pretty, they were plain, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, for my kitchen, I grabbed some disco balls. These probably won't go out for Christmas, but if I go to a disco themed something, because last year we had ABBA at our um, picnic with the pops, not this summer, but last summer, and we decorated in disco ball theme, and I was like, oh, we need those. So I just grabbed two packs of the silver, though, in my craft room. This is how I also buy all my black cat stuff at Halloween. And then, like I said, I'm doing my kitchen in pinks and teal and gingerbread nutcracker kind of situation. So I grabbed two sleeves of these. These go fast. These have glitter. These are matte. I thought they could mix them up. Um, they do go fast, though. The pink color, I think, last year I had a very hard time finding. Um, I got to make some room here. I am covered in glitter friends am i the only one that is like all about christmas right now maybe all right a couple more things in this haul um i picked up some santa these are different these are bfny holiday i know they're dollar tree but different tag or 
different tag. These are just some Santa socks. I just think they're fun. And again, I don't wear these like out of the house. They're just slipper socks to wear around the house. So I got those. And I did pick up some pink pajamas for Christmas. So I grabbed this pair. I have found that I actually like the thinner ones better. I have purchased a couple times at uh, Walmart the double thick ones, which are nice and warm, but once you take them off, the layers shift and it's very bizarre. I don't like the way it feels. So I grabbed, so I have three pair of these for the Christmas season, which will be plenty. And then I'll put them away for next year. Um, I picked up these bags because I really like pink, but I'm going to do, I think, some kind of paper crafting. So this one has the glitter, at least on the front. It's not moving. On the pink and white trees. And then this little bag just says Mary. They're kind of modern and cute. And then this one is just candy canes. Um, could be for gifting, but I think I'm going to do some paper crafting with those. And then I think this is the last thing. Oh, yes. The last thing I found, and if you are like me, get on the hunt for this. I found the Christmas tree pillow. They had it in red and green. I obviously got the green. I wanted to stay true to it. So I thought a green Christmas tree and then getting a gingerbread man would make my couch very happy. I'm moving the couch, though. So for the, Chris the Christmas tree is going to go behind me. So I'm moving the couch in front of a window. So I don't have anything to lean my pillows on. So we're gonna have to figure something out, but, and I gotta take this giant tag off that does say under penalty of law, it may not be removed except by customer. And that's me. Um, but it's like, oh my gosh, it's really a nice quality pillow for $5. Now, I think I was watching the lady unfold, unbox the pillows and there was like one red, one green. Could have just been that specific box, but I don't think there's a ton of these available. Just for the record, I'm hoping Target has the gingerbread. I know Walmart does. I just have to go find it, but yes. So that is it for this haul. I have another haul. I'm going to video as soon as I put this stuff away and get all this glitter off of me. So I hope you enjoyed that giant haul and we will come back and I will have one more. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.